All right, Dad, it's about that time. The fastest and slowest selling cars in the United States of America for the month of November. Let's remind everyone how we do this based on market days supply. That's how long it would take to sell all available inventory based on current sales rates. This is a metric that automakers and dealers care a lot about, isn't it, Pops? Absolutely, uh, because days on lot are one of the most important factors in managing your inventory. And the fewer days on lot, the quicker the turn, the quicker the turn, the more you earn. It all kind of rhymes and goes together. <laughs> so the longer or the higher the days on market, the slower selling the vehicle, the more likely you are to negotiate a big discount. Let's jump into it, Dad. The 10th slowest selling vehicle in the United States of America for the month of November is the Alfa Romeo Giulia. This has a 243 days supply, 908 of them for sale right now in the United States, yet only 168 have sold in the last 48 days days this 45 days excuse me this is the type of data that you know starts to paint the picture of a car that can't sell well you know it's it's getting long in the tooth as they say they really haven't changed the car since it first came into the country um and you know it was never a, a great seller to begin with and when it's time for a new or updated model or a refresh and you haven't done anything well, there's fewer and fewer people looking at it. Then we've got the Jaguar XF with a 254 days supply. The Lincoln Navigator, a big SUV. Those used to be all in vogue. Now, not so much. A 262 day supply. Only 1,492 have sold in the last 45 days, yet 8,700 are sitting on dealer lots right now. The Hyundai Ioniq 6, Dad. This is our first EV on the slowest yes. selling yeah. list. A 263 days supply. And then number six on the list, the Land Rover Discovery Sport. 269 days supply. Only three 375 have sold in the last 45 days, yet more than 2,200 are sitting on dealer lots. Any takeaways from 6 through 10 before we jump into the top five slowest selling vehicles in the United States of America, November 2024? I, I, must, I must say I am a little bit surprised at the Ionic 6. Hyundai has done a rather nice job with their EVs, and uh, having looked at an Ionic 6, it is a good look in sedan, but that's probably its problem. It's a sedan. Yeah, sedans don't sell particularly well in the United States unless they are Toyotas or Hondas. Everyone else seems to be struggling. Number five, slowest selling car in the United States, the Audi Q8, another big luxury SUV. Dad, 270 days supply, 3,300 for sale nationwide right now, yet less than 600 have sold in the last 45 days. The Fiat 500e, we've got another electric vehicle in the slowest selling list. 288 days supply, only 164 of these have sold in the past 45 days, yet more than a thousand are out there sitting for sale on dealer lots. The Jeep Grand Wagoneer, dad, our top three. 288 days supply, another luxury full-size SUV. 20, uh, 263, excuse me, have sold in the last 45 days. Almost 2,000 out there on dealer lots. Then the BMW 5 Series, this thing has not taken off the new model year. 305 days supply, 483 for sale, or 483 have sold, excuse me, 3,276 for sale right now. And then finally, dad, the Nissan Z. We got the Nissan Z here as the slowest selling car in the United States of America right now. 350 days supply, over 2,000 on dealer lots, yet 269 have sold in the last 45 days. Well, the Z at one time was an iconic sports car, then it disappeared, then it came back. It was iconic once again. And well, apparently it's getting ready to disappear again based on sales numbers. Um, the 5 Series surprises me, but I believe that might have been um, part of a stop sale for a short period of time with the with BMW, I'm not 100% certain on that, but I know the 5 Series is uh, their second best-selling series at BMW, so uh, we might want to look into that one just a little bit. Pops, there's a major issue out there. There are all sorts of people brokering your data and anyone can buy it, whether it's your social security number, your home address, what school you went to, all that information and so much more is being sold online to marketers and scammers. That's bad. Absolutely. And the way to prevent that is to use Delete Me. Delete Me will help take your information away from all those brokers so that they can't sell it to the scammers out there. Look at you, Pops. You sound like a Delete Me user yourself. I know I use Delete Me and hundreds of my records have been scraped off of the internet, getting that information out of the hands of those scammers, marketers, and everything in between. We have a special offer for our Car Edge community, 20% off when you sign up with the link joindeleteme.com slash Car Edge. Top of the description will be that link, Dad. 
We both use Delete Me. We enjoy using Delete Me. I like the monthly reports that show me all my data being removed from the internet. We thank Delete Me for sponsoring our channel. One day you might not even see me here. <laughs> So those are your slowest selling vehicles in the United States. Let's do the fastest selling vehicles in the United States right now, Dad. And I will foreshadow, we have a record for the fastest selling vehicle we've ever seen in terms of market days supply. So stay tuned for that at number one. At number 10, Dad, and it continues for a long while in this list, we've got a Toyota, the Toyota Sequoia with a 35 days supply. They have 2,904 on dealer lots for sale at this very moment. Yet 3,762 have sold in the last 45 days. Quite the juxtaposition from the numbers we were looking at just a moment ago. Oh, absolutely. These are all vehicles that are in great demand, low supply. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they're all pretty much pre-sold before they even hit the dealer lots. And uh, a more foreshadowing, there is only one vehicle in this list that's not a Toyota or a Lexus. So let that sink in if you are a Toyota or Lexus shopper. The Lexus GX, Dad, coming in at number nine, 33 days supply. The Toyota Corolla, we were talking about sedans a moment ago. They still sell 32 days supply. 20,645 on dealer lots, yet nearly 30,000 have sold in the last 45 days. Let that sink in. In a month and a half, Toyota has retailed nearly 30,000 Corollas. And in dealer inventory are only 20,645 right now. It's a fast selling vehicle. Absolutely. And that's, as a manufacturer, what you want to see. A low day supply, a quick turn rate. Uh, the dealers love it. Um, the dealers love it for a number of reasons. The floor plan carrying costs on vehicles that move quickly. Well, are next to nothing. So this bodes well for a Toyota or Lexus dealer. And you don't have to negotiate that much with customers because you know you can just sell it to the next person because you don't have enough inventory. We've got then the Toyota Camry, another sedan, and then the Toyota Sienna, Dad, rounding out six through 10 on your fastest selling vehicles, the Sienna with a 29 days supply. The Toyota RAV4, Dad, is number five on our fastest selling vehicles in the United States of America, November 2024, with a 27 days supply. That is insane. There's 37,960 for sale nationwide, yet 65,000 of them have sold in the last 45 days. Toyota is killing it, man. This is incredible. Yeah, and, and uh, they're going to be pissed when we get to the number three spot that they're not in it. Um, but yeah, it is, it is remarkable what Toyota is doing as far as limiting the amount of inventory that the dealers have, which... Uh, my guess is at the end of the year, we're going to find out that Toyota dealers were probably the most profitable dealership to have because of the limited inventory and the great demand for their products so that they can, they can uh, maintain a higher profit percentage than the other brands. I think you're on to something, Pops. All right, let's round out the top five. You've got at number four, the Lexus RX with a 26-day supply. And then at the number three spot, the one loan spot not taken by Toyota or Lexus, the Kia Forte with a 24-day supply. Nearly 5,000 Kias for sale, Kia Fortes for sale nationwide, and 9,000 have sold in the last 45 days. Then you have to add the Toyota Highlander with a 14-day supply. 14, man, that is one of the lowest numbers we've ever seen on this list. 2,800 for sale, yet nearly 10,000 have sold in the last 45 days. And then the number one spot, good luck getting your hands on a Toyota 4Runner, a six. Nothing after it, nothing before it. A six day supply, 740 of these for sale nationwide right now, yet 5,700 have sold in the last 45 days. Whoa. Yeah, that's that that's pretty remarkable. Uh the the Toyota dealers are loving it. The Toyota customers are hating it. Um, but it's not stopping the Toyota customers from buying them. And um uh, it, it really is a testament to uh, Toyota understanding the market and manufacturing just enough cars to keep everybody on the edge of their seats. It really is quite the juxtaposition. Toyota doing everything you just said and all those other automakers making really expensive big vehicles <laughs> that no one's buying. The exception was that Hyundai Ioniq 6 over there. But you know what, Dad? We've seen EV powertrains not really take off as much as automakers had hoped. So I think the fastest and slowest selling vehicles demonstrate some of the patterns we're seeing of like consumer behaviors and where automakers made big bets that, that aren't really paying off. As always, we'll link to the data in the description down below. And all of this information was brought to you by us here at Car Edge. Pops, thanks for your time. As always, I really appreciate it. Thank you, handsome.